Got it, dude. Got it, dude. You got it, dude. Alright guys, what is going on? It's NG Creeper. Don't mind the background here. It's kind of a mess. We've been just moving into my new place, but I'm trying to post another gameplay for you guys because I promised you that I'd be posting. Um, this is a nuclear with an evac. I'm using the Man of War with a four grip, rapid fire, ELO sight, and high, high geez, high caliber. Um, this is my first ever nuclear on this map and will be my first ever nuclear on this channel on this map. Uh, which is pretty exciting. I've been trying so hard to get this nuclear on this map. It's been a struggle for me I've tried everything and anything and then finally I decided you know what first game on today. I'm gonna try that um, What is it the uh, man of war class setup that Foxy was using you guys should really try this gun on this gun is Overpowered especially when you got the high caliber on high caliber is one of the most overpowered things in the game It's just one of those um, Guns that you can pretty much one burst someone right in the head and that's it for them um, what I was doing in this map though is obviously I was playing smart My team was obviously gonna push up and try and win the game as fast as possible because I think they're trying to do that that achievement where you get 75 wins and you get to unlock a bundle a weapon bundle and stuff like that So they of course were trying to push as you guys can see they're trying to push as fast as they can so I had to kind of play pretty smart and try and get the nuclear as quick as I could. I kind of played the objective by sitting by the ball, kind of just guarding the ball. I wasn't going to push up into spawns. I kind of just sat back and let them come to me. The kids really in this game weren't that smart, so I mean, I had the advantage up on them. I mean, it's, it's kind of embarrassing when I'm sitting back in the spawn and they're just running at me every five seconds. And I mean, their accuracy was not on point because they were missing every single shot. So my, uh, my, obviously my score streaks as you guys can see is obviously going to be the UAV, the hater, the power core, the best kill streaks in the game. So obviously when you guys are trying to go for uh, nuclears and stuff like that, you should always use these uh, these freaking uh, score streaks and stuff like that. It's the, it is the best thing. I mean, once you get a UAV, if you're in a six man with the team, uh, obviously they can get kills and it will give you your hater. But I mean also a UAV gives you a chance to kind of just push up and try and get some more kills because not a lot of kids within black ops use the whole uh, ghost and stuff like that they're always using afterburner and stuff like that so i mean once you have a uav up you're pretty much set um then you can work towards your hater and then once you get a hater and you have a uav up with the hater you're pretty much you're gonna get the power core because i mean the power core is 50 points right off of the hater so pretty much what I'm trying to do for you guys uh, within the next couple weeks now is just post as many uh, nuclear gameplays as I can for you guys because we're kind of getting bored of the 100 pluses and stuff like that. I know you guys on this channel and I've heard from people that I play with, they all like the whole um, nuclear gameplays and how to get nuclears on each map and how we do it. I mean, I play a lot of uplink, unfortunately a lot of people play demolition, hardpoint, and domination. I cannot play any of those and get a nuclear. I have to play uplink for some reason. I've been close on other game modes, but I think this is the best, um, the best game mode for nuclears because you kind of can just sit back and let them come to you. Now, obviously, if the guy has the ball, it's kind of an advantage because he has more. You get, you have to put more shots into him, which kind of sucks. But I mean, at the end of the day, if you guard that ball and you just play like I'm playing right here in this gameplay, you will get that nuclear. My special is why I'm using Heatwave. Heatwave is so good to have. It saves you in uh, close corners when a guy is coming at you. Obviously, I'm not just going to use it when I, I'm not going to rush up and use it just to use it. No, I'm going to sit back, let him come to me, and when I do get stuck, I burst up in the flames and I kill the guy, obviously. So it's a good thing to get you out of the close corners when you're on that streak. It's kind of something that I've always used besides Ripper. Ripper will always help you no matter what, especially in uplink because a lot of people will use the Ripper, especially when they have the ball because you get more points when you Ripper a guy with the ball, so a lot of people run the Ripper. Um, but yeah, I'm just playing cautious in this game. I do get the nuclear and our team does win. I'm I go, I think I went on a 46 gun streak or something in this gameplay, um, which is pretty good on my behalf. I was just calling hater after hater after hater, just trying to get streaks up in the air and trying to get uh, that gameplay. I was trying to beat the world record for, uh, what is it, the uh, 
what is it, Unstoppables, most Unstoppables after the nuclear. I didn't get it unfortunately, um, but that's my goal in my next video is to get that gameplay for you guys. And that'd be a pretty sick gameplay. To have the world's record for that, that'd be sick. Now obviously, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out uh, NG Mexi down in the description, NG Poxy, NG Catalyst, and so on and so forth. I'll tag them all in the bottom of the description. Um, and you know what? Subscribe, guys, because we're almost at a goal of 100 there to the goal of uh, 200, which will give us a uh, recruitment challenge. So like I said, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, obviously subscribe, like, and peace out, guys, and you can't stop the creeping. Peace.